Today I'm going to be talking about reversing type 2 diabetes with fasting variations, including promising strategies like the fasting mimicking diet, because the scientific evidence is there to support it. And it's coming right up. From the 1980s to 2020, the American Diabetes Association said that type 2 was a chronic and progressive disease, meaning that once you had it, you had it for life, and there was nothing you could do but take your medications. But it was a lie, and everybody knew it, even as we said it. If you lost weight, that type 2 would often get much better or go away completely. And I called it out in my books, The Obesity Code and The Diabetes Code, when talked about fasting as a promising strategy for reversing type 2 diabetes, because I had a lot of clinical experience in hundreds of patients, and fasting has been used for thousands of years. I published case reports in the medical literature, and now there are multiple randomized control trials, the gold standard of uh, scientific evidence, that support it, and I'm going to go through four of these. Fasting is not too hard to understand. If you don't eat, which is fasting, your body is going to burn off that excess glucose because it's a source of energy. And duh, what's wrong with that? But it wasn't until 2021 that the experts at the ADA said that type 2 diabetes could be reversed. The important thing is that the universally acknowledged first step in treatment of type 2 diabetes is changing lifestyle and diet. Um, it's not about taking more medications. It's a largely a dietary disease, so you must fix the diet. But diets are so variable and they're hard to sustain that this first step is often ignored in clinical practice. There's also no universally accepted diet. So you, for, for decades, we told people to eat low fat, which is very high in carbohydrates. Those very same carbohydrates that are most prone to spiking your glucose. And there's other approaches, low carb, Mediterranean, vegan, and they all have their intricacies. Intermittent fasting has also shown implementation, but there's also a lot of variations. The first study published in 2024 is using the fasting mimicking diet. And this is a diet that is designed to give you a lot of the benefits of fasting without actually fasting the whole day. What it does is it allows light pre designed meals, which is low in calories, low in sugar, low in protein, and high in fats and complex carbohydrates. And what that does is it's designed to lower insulin and insulin-like growth factor. And it's taken for five days of the month, and you follow this pre-prescribed diet that they give you uh, over those five days every month. This is a very interesting approach because now it allows you to tell people what to do. Instead of just telling people, oh, you should try fasting, you could actually give people a designed strategy for their type 2 uh, diabetes, and they would have uh, no doubts as to what they're supposed to do. On those five days, you open package for day one, day two, day three, and so on. Day one had 1,100 calories, and days two to five had uh, 750 calories. It's also an intermittent treatment, which is often better for compliance because it's not like you have to cut out one entire food or food group for the rest of your life. It's also a short time limited treatment, so people are willing to put up with it faster. I think of it as a uh, treatment strategy similar to like chemotherapy where you tell people, well, on days one to five, you're going to take this drug and then you're going to take this radiation. And people do it because they know exactly what's expected of them and they know how long it's going to last for. The other important thing is because it's a dietary study, it can be added to certain treatments such as your drugs and potentially reduce the need for them. So this was the study, which is called the Fasting and Diabetes Treatment, the FIT study. It was 12 months randomized control trial. The results were very impressive. The fasting mimicking diet uh, group was able to use less medications overall. And despite using less medications, their blood sugars were significantly better. And what that means is that the diabetes was significantly improved compared to previous. The dosage of glucose-lowering medications was decreased in 40% of the fasting mimicking group compared to only 5% in the control group, and medications were completely stopped in 16%. 
And if you look at body weight, the fasting mimicking group lost an extra 3.6 kilos in weight and an extra 2.2% of body fat and an extra 3.5 centimeters in waist circumference compared to the control group. And another study came out in JAMA in 2024, which showed very similar results. A five to two intermittent fasting meal is a strategy where on five days of the week, you eat your regular meal and two days are considered fasting days. You don't eat zero on those days, you eat 500 to 600 calories. But again, if you leave it up to people to eat whatever they want, often it's gonna go awry, so they use meal replacement bars. And they compared the, this group, the five to two group, to the standard medications of metformin and empagliflozin. These meal replacement bars, similar to the fasting mimicking diet, emphasize medium chain fatty acids and omega-3s. And again, you see very impressive results. Compared against drug treatment, the diet was better. You had a more impressive reduction in your blood sugars as measured by the A1C using the fasting strategy as opposed to the medication. It's more powerful than the drugs. And even more stunning, if you look at the number of people who were able to get below 6.5, and because these people were not on medications, that is considered remission, 80% of people got to remission just with this five to two strategy. The data has been accumulating in 2022, published in Diabetes Care, we have the Interfast 2 trial, which used a slightly different strategy, which was that on three days of the week, they had 18 hours of fasting. And on those days, you would only eat 25% of your usual calories. So probably somewhere in the range of 500 to 750 calories, similar to the previous two approaches. And once again, we saw that compared to people who didn't take the treatment, you had the hemoglobin A1C drop by 2.8% which is a fantastic reduction. The uh, key is that you also have some weight reduction with that. The control group in this case had only a 4% reduction in their weight compared to 80% in the fasting group, which is the whole point. As you lose weight, your diabetes is gonna get better. As you get your diabetes gets better, your sugars get better. And if you look at the insulin dose reduction, more than 10%, Nobody in the control group was able to achieve that, but the fasting group, three out of four people were able to have those results. In 2023, another trial uh, was published, and this was called the Effect of an Intermediate Calorie Restricted Diet on Type 2 Diabetes Remission. And once again, they use a slightly different strategy, which was five days of fasting. In this case, they use 840 calories and then 10 days of their regular diet. And they would alternate these 15 day cycles. Um, and in the beginning of this, people had an average of 1.86 medica uh, medications per person. And at 12 months, when they looked at the drug-free remission, it was 44% in the fasting group compared to zero in the control group. So this strategy of uh, intermittent fasting put almost half the people into a drug-free remission state. That is, you took people who in fact were diabetic and by changing their diet and fixing their diet, you were able to move them to be classified as non-diabetic that is reversing type two diabetes. And it starts with controlling the diet. And yes, there are many diets that can reverse or uh, type two diabetes or put it into remission. But fasting is an integral strategy and really forms one more tool in your toolbox of things to do. And these other strategies, like the fasting mimicking diet, like the five to two diet, those can also be used. So you don't have to do strict fasting. You can do these fasting variations. They are also spectacularly successful. So if you have type two diabetes, if you're at risk of type two diabetes, if you wanna get ahead of type two diabetes, fasting is definitely a strategy that you need to be considering. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.